Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance. Continuing on with the creator storyline. Got a lot of good... Uh, oh, shit. I don't even care for what's going on. Um, and just to show off my party, because it's been like a week or something since I played this. I took advantage of the Maka DLC. As you can see, I got a lot of glory uh, from the from the Matama, and I uh, got a lot of monies. I did a lot of part. I did a lot of fusion try tryouts, a lot of fusion um, experiments. Got some some new demons, so you guys can see. So I do have the four Oni, but I didn't put Fujin F Fujinki. I didn't put him in the party. He's he's in my uh, compendium, but he's not in my party. So I have Kinki, uh, Suiki, and Ongioki. Ongioki. So he's in a party now. So you know they're pretty suited up, especially Suiki. Um, everybody's pretty much suited up. Got a lot of uh, nulls, a lot of nullifications. Um, this dude was from an accident that I had to like wait till full moon and I had to uh, try to make him a couple times. Uh, turns out he has a, a force and electric weakness. So I, I ended up, I can't remember who I fused with it, but the ones I did fuse with it had a null of, had a force and electric null uh, passive. So I ended up doing that, got the fusion accident and um, there we go with him. I think last time, I don't think I had a Nata. A Nanta. He's a, he's a new addition. I got Titania. You know, she's, uh, she's covered. I think she had a fire, a fire weakness. I covered, I had another fusion accident with Vishnu, this was completely unintended. You know, the ones that you can get a fusion, uh, get fusion accidents, you know, intentionally on the full moon. Um, you can do them then and you can get fusion accidents until you get one of the three exclusive accident demons, um, which uh, Kinemon is like the best of. And uh, so I worked that out in my favor, but Vishnu originally was like a complete I didn't intend for him to be made, but he did it as an accident, and I ended up having a fire. Find out he had a fire weakness. I had to go back and remake Chimera because he had a null fire, and then I had to go back and make uh, Yamamoto or something like that, and ended up remaking Vishnu with the fire null. So that took care of that. Um, I got our Habaki who's completely goaded. He damn near, like I put every null for, he, so Harabaki has a fire, ice, electric and force weakness. And I had to, to do so much just to get those nullification passives on him. And Kali and I, I got the nullification passives on her. So let me switch these uh, demons around. So we gotta go back to Tokyo. Only line crossing, we gotta get back to Tokyo. Uh, we gotta report back to the um, the chief.
So the Demon King is dead, then? You're a credit to Bethel Japan. That was no small feat. Yeah, Master Abdiel said that, too. So, did we save Tokyo? No. I'd say the true battle is about to begin. What? What do you mean? I said it before. The real Tokyo is long gone. This Tokyo is a sacred simulacrum, restored by the power of God. But its time is running out. The world is fracturing, collapsing. If this demonic conqueror in Algami's report really did kill the Creator, all his divine miracles must be waning. Slaying the Demon King did much to protect the world at large, but Tokyo itself is now on the brink of destruction. What? So, our course is clear. As of today, I will be declaring my independence from Bethel. You're leaving them? If we want to save Tokyo, we have only one option left. To take the throne of a Nahomino and craft a new world. But Bethel HQ remains doggedly opposed to this. Which makes them our enemy, I'm afraid. So heresy is our only option left. World creation has been forbidden. You're just ditching Bethel? To take the throne is to deny the Creator's will and deny the laws he created. And to betray those laws is to betray Bethel itself. But Master Abdiel was good to me. I'm nobody special, but she still helped me. Why do we gotta betray them like this? We could just ask them to help us save Tokyo. Tokyo's faced apocalyptic destruction before. But the Archangel dismissed us, said it was destiny. And a Bethel, bereft of God, has even less stake in our future. Ah, uh, but we're just humans, ordinary people. How can we go against the angels? Quite easily, with my help. I am their equal in power. No, I am an even higher being. What? What are you saying? I suppose you three deserve to know. The truth is, I am no human. Wait, right, ain't he the Nahabino that we fused with? I am Sukuyomi of the Amatsukami, one of Japan's eldest guardians. What? Bethel's cooperation did help us protect Japan, and I am grateful to God for saving Tokyo. However, with the Creator dead, we are no longer bound to Bethel's will. Instead, we will fight to protect our home, even if they refuse to. So the truth comes out. I'll cut to the chase. Sometime soon, Bethel HQ is going to hold a summit. A meeting between all international branches. I would have you three accompany me. What? Us? Seriously? I expect many other branches in attendance. And depending on how the discussions go, things may escalate. But, however, Bethel Japan's lost most of its regular fighting force. Casualties of Armageddon. As such, you three will be attending as my bodyguards. Security detail, at least on the paper. Uh... Understood. When the dates are set, I will contact you. Until then, your time is yours to spend. Mm -hmm. Do you have a sec? You wanna meet up on the roof? Bet. I'm seeing Nuzlocke University Doc. Yeah, okay. How's that damn roof at? The tunnels. Seems you've noticed as well. How could the 
this be? Tokyo is vanishing? The Shekinah glory is unraveling. Tokyo was actually destroyed once, almost two decades ago. But God copied it back into existence, preventing any further anarchy. That was God's greatest modern miracle. The Shekinah glory. However, with God defeated, that miracle has begun to dissipate. Along with the city that depended on it. If we don't act fast, Tokyo might disappear forever. Incoming message from Bethel, Japan. Tomorrow, a pandemonic summit will be held with all of Bethel's leadership. The summit will be held in the Netherworld. We are to await further orders at the Tokyo Diet Building. I should tell you that your existence is what I'd like to create a story in the near future. I mean, I guess. But that's the other, fu that's the other fusion accident. What else to do this? Can you see me? Or perhaps you're a loyal devotee, a fan, a stand, as they say. Like, aren't you all oh, last so damn? My name is Amabi. I came all the way to Tokyo so I could be one of these idols, you see. One of our, one of those merry young stage tributes. But you're the first person who's even bothered to talk to me. You don't think all these other people can even see me? And hey, you're one of the locals, under scholars, are you not a student? Could you perchance help a girl out? Clearly I need assistance in promoting myself. Split it, hooray, I'm so happy. Behold, this is the glamour of, this is my glamour shot. Yes, the all important glorious bromide photo. I'm sure the abuse of today would take a look at this and see that I'm the knees of the bees, wow. So I want you to pass this along to one of the humor folks. The question is who, maybe another student, one with an eye for trends and popularity. Just in case we mess up. Yes. Yahoo. So. Huh? I'm just wearing the mask. It looks like something we also would get a kick out of. <laughs> I don't know if I gave it to the right person. Great. Finish job. So what do they think? So shiny, shiny gemstone. But now I'm taking my first steps, the baby steps. Yeah. Help. I had given, I had hoped to give you a, a bromide copy of your own as a token appreciation, but unfortunately I don't have no more. Got an idea? I got another goody goody prize I can give you. It's markedly differently than a bromide for them. Yeah. 
So it just threw up on me. The, the damn thing just threw up on me. It was like, <laughs> See you before we go. Pardon me. That's the Abigail. Right, shortly. This way. I wonder if the dude in the yellow hat not have triumphed without your strength. You do me too much honor, Master Abdiel. I can only express my pride that the Japanese branch managed to serve Bethel's aims. Indeed so. A duty I am sure you will continue to perform. I think the dude in the yellow hat snitched on him. Of course. I got a strange feeling that dude in the yellow hat told her. Bro, why do I got a feeling that the dude in the yellow snitched on him? I can already tell this is going to be a mess. Well, that means we are up. Please direct user on his friend when they arrive. Sure. I swear. Something gonna happen, bro. surely aware, we have recently achieved a decisive victory over the legions of chaos. Sirt, Ishtar, Ariok. Each of them were formidable in their own right, 
Yet all lie slain at the feet of Bethel, Japan. Henceforth, all forces that marched into the Netherworld may retreat and return to their normal duties. I am unconcerned with the fate of Lucifer's thralls. What interests me is the Lord of Chaos himself. Word is he took out the Creator. Tell me what you make of that. Clearly that falsehood was designed to lead us astray. Do not be deceived. Bethel must remain united. How dim are you? You realize with the Creator gone, we might as well drop the pretense of an alliance altogether. True. I see no merit in joining forces any further. Lord Shitter has in fact expected this, and is already preparing our next move. Patience, everyone. Perhaps it would do us all well to step back and review our circumstances. Konsu speaks wisely. Rather than acting rashly, let us each take a moment to reason amongst ourselves. This is a good opportunity to discern where each faction stands. Go and listen to what each of them has to say. Okay, we gotta make a decision. See for yourself the Creator's almighty handiwork. See how the Earth's inhabitants lament their injustices and buckle under misfortune. Had we the authority, we would create a world of gladness where all are treated with equity and compassion. If the Creator's dead, his throne ought to be free for the taking. That's how it should work. Ugh. I'm sick of hearing babble from that winged wench and her automatons. Long ago, the Creator, in his boundless arrogance, issued an edict of condemnation, damning all gods to primitivity. This condemnation forbade the existence of Nahobino outright. Thus preventing any challenge to his reign. Oh, how I long to break free of this curse. But wait. Are you not a Nahobino? How could you have broken the shackles that bind us? A time of great undoing is upon us. The word of Lord Shiver has been spoken. I must say... This world of flaws and contradictions fashioned by an absentee ruler is long overdue for renovation. I'm Japanese too, so I'm all for the idea of protecting Japan. Still, Master Abdiel's words make the most sense to me. I've always aspired to keep our city safe. To me, working with Director Koshimizu seems the most logical way to accomplish that. And now, with everything that's happened, it's clear to me that one almighty being isn't enough to protect Tokyo. Not by a long shot. That's why I want the world to be as the Director envisions. Where the gods of old watch over us, governing with their wisdom. I'm Japanese too, still. Ichiro, damn. I Ichiro gonna end up betraying us. I got a strong feeling. Oh, I can't save right now? Damn. 18 years ago, Tokyo endured the conception unwittingly. Now, with the Shekinah glory fading, the loss we face would be unbearable. We were wrong to place our trust in one God. Only a multitude of divine beings can give the world the proper attention it needs. Furthermore, it is only right for us, the Amatsukami, to keep our land secure. The Creator can never be defeated. But were that even to be true, surely he would rise up once more. Yes, we must await his glorious return. Until then, we join hands and guide our people. That is Bethel's duty. Hear me. Bethel's mission is to sustain this world, God's world. Any objections? Damn right there are. I say you cut the act and admit your god is dead and gone. He speaks true. Besides, Lord Shiver will soon bring this world to its proper end. On whose authority? If any being is to decide this world's fate, it will be me. Not while the condemnation stands, it won't. It is undeniable proof that the Most High still sits upon the throne. 
does he? Then how do you explain the Nahobino standing here before us? Are we to take it this god of yours deems him a worthy successor to the throne? Forgive me, but is he not the proto-fiend of Bethel? Has your god not chosen him? Very well. If his existence serves as blasphemy, I cannot remain in ignorance. this aberration and blot out his sin from the earth wow so she just went a she basically just went full retard Here. darkness weakness okay Here we go with the nonsense. They saying I had hate speech and I don't have no hate speech in my in my live. Impossible. 
How could I have fallen? So this is the power meant for us. Not bad now, Dino. God was right to be afraid. Perhaps I, too, will seek out my own knowledge. And so were our ties to Bethel severed. When we next meet, it shall be as adversaries. May none be so foolish as to cross me. I must inform what shiver of this new development. Well, I'm done. All oh, have forsaken us for their own selfish gain. Does this please you, Sukuyomi? To see demon kind fall to chaos? To see all that Bethel has struggled for scattered? I truly couldn't be more satisfied. Entrusting this beautiful world to such a thing desperate was always a mistake. We shall establish a new world order. One where countless gods can freely illuminate the world. As for you, Abdiel, may you find her. Oh, give me a second. Future, please come in the conference room later.